What is up, everybody? It's your boy Juice back at it again. And today we are doing a pack battle against Minuteman Ren. Uh, and it's going to be a Hidden Fates pack battle. So why I opened up these tins, obviously you can see Andrew's not here. It is okay, though. He got tied up with a little bit of uh, activities. He had to take care of something, but you know he's here in spirit. Take a look at him right here. See? Oh! <laughs> nah, but, uh, you know, I'm going to run into Andrew, you know, later today. But you know what? We're going to try to switch it up today. We're going to try to win this pack battle against Minuteman Rent. I have a feeling these tins are going to be uh, fire. Because you know what? I got them from Wasteland Gaming. And, uh, you know, they... Uh, the last tins I got for them were uh, poo. So I think, you know, the odds are in my favor, you know? Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So... You know, Minuteman Ren, he's a part of my Discord. Shout out, Lootbox TV Discord below. If you're interested, you know, click that link and join us. It's not a bad time, not a bad time. We got a ton of creators in there, a ton of, you know, selling going on, trading going on, you name it, as I'm making noise. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First pack, Magic, is going to be the Charizard pack. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Well, I haven't opened up Hidden Fates in a little bit. I love this set. This set is one of my favorite sets. I think it's going to be slowly, you know, stop printing here. Ooh, Scyther Reverse. And our first pull of the video is a Wigglytuff GX. Man, I kind of miss the GX cards. What do you guys think? Is GX better or V cards better? Leave the comments below. And obviously, as you see, I got a haircut. Boy, oh boy. We went back to the faux hawk. I tried to do my hair this morning, but it's all over the place. Um, but yeah, the faux hawk's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Roll it. I feel like we always pull this shiny card. But here we go. Our first shiny is a roulette. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hopefully, the I think there's an average of two shinies per tin, I think. Because the tins are where we pulled the Charizards at, right? That's what I told Ando, Unlisted Leaf. And I was able to help him acquire tins. He was able to pull a Charizard. I don't know if we could do the same thing today, but he was finally able to pull that Charizard, which was awesome. The tins have been so kind to me before in the past is what I recommend the most. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. This is tin number one, and we got two pulls. Doesn't look too good for us yet. I'm sure Minuteman Red has been dominating us because we get Kangaskhan reverse poo-poo, and we got an Eevee, ladies and gentlemen. Boom shakalaka. Okay, we got, you know what, let's switch it up a little bit because we got, oh, we got a lot of the same artwork. So you know what, we're going to have all the Mews here, right? Then we're going to have all the Mewtwo's here. So we got three, wow, we got four Mewtwo's, or three Mewtwo's, four Mews, and then we're going to have this Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Ooh, Darkness Ablaze is coming up very soon ladies and gentlemen what do you guys think of that pokemon or slowpoke clefairy jigglypuff caterpie ooh chancy and blaine's last stand as of today if you check out the ebay store speaking of blaine i have put up a bunch of pokemon psa cards um probably the, the best ones right now that i'm willing to sell and one of them does include the blaine's charizard so if you're interested, make sure you check out the eBay store. The link should be below. Let me know what you think. Give them a couple a follow or, you know, watch a couple of the products. See if any of them sell because that, you know, that always helps get views. There's a Gyarados GX. We haven't seen a Gyarados GX in a while that says the promo. So I wonder if that's gone up in value at all. A lot of these Hidden Fates cards have skyrocketed. Um... And it's because of the difficult, the pull rates have completely changed. Um, which, just opening up Hidden Fates, whether you know it's true or not, just opening up Hidden Fates now, you can tell that the pulls have drastically changed. You used to be able to get hit after hit per pack. Now, I mean, you could still get, a, you know, a good amount of hits. But as you can see, we've opened up almost two tins. And boy, oh boy, we only got one shiny. Minute Man Ran, you're probably... Kick it, our booty. Oh, wait a minute. Boom. Buzzwall GX. We finally got a full art shiny. And the centration on this bad boy is pretty good. Yes, 
I know centration is not the word. Sometimes there's so many people that leave comments like, you don't know the meaning of centration. Yes, I do. I know it has nothing to do with the centering at all. We get it. It's a meme. It's called trolling. Get a sense of humor. Uh, here we go. All right, we're moving on to the final four packs, the Mew packs. We got Pikachu. We got Kaferi. We got Cubone, Bone, Bone. We got Jigglypuff. We got Eevee. Koga's Trap. And we got a Jesse and James. I'm not counting the hollows. He might be counting the hollows, but this is just a pack battle. I don't think. Are we talking value? I forget what we're doing. I don't know what we really talked about here, but I'm going to have the values anyway below. And you guys are just going to let us know who won. There's Cubone, there's Voltorb, and a Guzzlord Shiny. Yes, indeed. Let's put that there. Our Shiny pile is getting a little bit bigger. All right, we're down to the final two packs here, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, shakalaka. Here we go. Ekans, Coffee, Cubone, Geodude. Oh, Slowpoke, Zapdos, and an Eevee. Wow, we are getting destroyed. I don't think you guys care about the uncommons in the set. We don't do the card trick, so that's why we don't reveal the final cards in the set. Ooh, we might have a pool here, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Flashback Magic, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, oh, Jolteon, and oh, Jesse and James. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay. There is a TCG code for you. Let's take a look at our shiny pools today, or, our, or I guess our pools, more than just shiny. So we got a Jesse and James, full art. We got a Guz Lord. We got a Buzz Swole GX. And we got a Gyarados GX. We got a Roulette. And we got a Wigglytuff. Now, without me looking at the values, <clears throat> I assume that these are probably... Three to four dollars a piece, so that's probably eight. I assume these shinies, I believe that this is probably four dollars by itself, so that's twelve. This might be a little bit more. Maybe a near mint card is probably six or seven bucks. I'm just going off based on like how many times I've opened this and looked at it. So we got eight, and then I would assume um let's just call it six. So say 14 i want to say this is probably close to probably you know nine or ten bucks so 28 and i want to say this is probably eight bucks so let's call it 36 i assuming our value is roughly around 36 bucks and you know i got these tins my local card shop um, but they typically go for 20 dollars a tin so i assume that you know, hidden fates right here. This is why they're so collectible, right? These hidden fates and why so many people want to get them. Just right now, I assume that we might, might, you know, we, we won't break even, um, but you have the possibility of dominating. I don't know how much the Guzzlord is. I don't know if these have gone up yet. These are, <laughs> we, we pulled some of the most unpopular ones, but um, for 20 bucks a 10, I don't think it's a bad value. I think we actually got probably the worst of the worst. So, I mean, I've seen people pull tremendous amount of fire as of late. But yeah, so there we go. Check out Minuteman Ren's video below. Awesome guy. Channel's up and coming. Check him out. Let me know who won in the comments below. Juice or Minuteman Ren. And Andrew, I miss you, buddy. Can't wait to see you. So with that... We'll talk to you soon. Deuces, dads.